Hey, what's up everybody? It's T-Mail Jr. Insights. And today I'm coming to you to talk to you about the, the widow's mite. I received this from a friend the other day. And uh, since I received it, I just wanted to talk about it because I think it have a have great significance. And it's a great prophetic word in here as well pertaining to the widow's mite. Let me take this out so you can see it. That's how small it was. And Jesus says she cast more than everybody in the temple because they gave out of their riches and she gave out of all she had. She gave two of these. And these are very small copper copper coins from back then. And uh, I'm going to take you to scripture real quick. And this is Luke 21 verses 1 through 4. And it says, as Jesus looked up, he saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor woman put in two very small copper coins, two of these. Truly, I tell you, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of, out of their wealth, but she gave out of her poverty, putting in all she had to live on. And that's what it says. And see, in this season right now, God is telling you right now that there's going to be a lot of a lot of great sacrifice from you. So you're going to be giving a lot of, I have to do a lot of giving. And uh, just don't turn back. This is going to be a lot of obedience from you. You're going to be giving, you're going to be giving a lot. It's going to be some of your time, your talents, or whatever, or money. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to give. So don't back down. Remember, obedience is greater than sacrifice. And this is the time that you're going to be really be giving. I'm not just saying like Christmas gift and stuff like that. I mean, you're going to be have to give to people that is in need, people that really need it right now because of these times, the economical times right now, people is in need. They need food, they need shelter, need, need clothing. So right now, a lot of people are going to be depending on you and God's going to be looking at your heart right now. So I'm hoping that God will open at your heart, open up your heart in this season to give give out of what you have because right now you're going to be living you're going to be living on more on abundance and prosperity than what other people have you know what i mean so it's going to be time for you to give and step up it could be a family member friend or associate or just somebody you a random person you just you god just placed in your path because you know we entertain angels unaware so in these times i'm just saying this is a prophetic word from you and, you know, don't be disobedient in this time because God is going to place people in your life right now where they're going to really need things from you. And uh, just just give. This is going to be the opportunity you forgive. This is your turn to, to show up. It's, you know what I mean? Because it's time. It's, this is your time. This is your time. This is your time. That's all I keep hearing right now. This is your time. This is your time to show up. People need you right now. So if you can give please do so. Don't think that all oh, they asking for too much or I don't have enough. Remember, God is your source. He's your sponsor. So give. Just as the widow did, she went up there. That's all she had was these two copper coins. All she had to live on. Guess what? God took care of her. And he still, and, and we still got this in the, in the word today. He's telling us, you know, we have to, we have to give right now. You know, I just hopefully hope that everybody is blessed in this season and I hope that you receive this word because right now that's the word for you today. It's given and it's going to be a lot of sacrifices. So you're going to, it's going to be a lot of people coming to you. That's going to be need, needing things that you have. You know, the God is going to try to cleanse that heart out, you know, because a lot of people, we caught up in materialism. We have more than enough right now, you know, more than enough. So you can see behind me right now, more than enough. I got all these books and everything. Got all different types of TVs and stuff in here, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm living, God's been taking care of me, but, you know, he going to be, he going to require more from me, you know, and I know that, and you have to know that too, that God is requiring a lot from us right now, and, you know, I'm just praying, I'm praying right now that, you know, that those that he placed, he placed in my path that, you know, I have, I have the heart they continue to give, you know. And not thinking that people is using me. I mean, we have discernment, so we know if somebody trying to use us or not. But, you know, the ones that he placed in my path that he know that he want me to help, you know, to give out of what I already have, you know. Even though it's probably not like 
like her, like her, her very, very last. But if I have to give my very last to something that I have, like in my refrigerator, I'm gonna give it, you know? You, you remember Elijah, you know, the, 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 the woman, the, you know, she, her, her sisters with oil and stuff, you know? She had, he told her to make him some pancakes, but it was the last that she had. He said that if you make me some pancakes first before your son and everybody, that your sisters will overflow. Listen, given a season, I guarantee you, God is going to bless you. Everything is going to overflow, you know. Your cup is always going to be filled, and God is going to, he's going to bless you. I'm, I'm serious. He is going to bless you, you know. Just continue to give. I hope you all to receive this, this message in Jesus' name. And, you know, don't turn back. Don't look back. You know, you're going to do a lot of sacrificing in this season. So remember, you heard it here. Just don't turn back. You know, don't think people are trying to use you. And <laughs> listen, God got your back. And God bless you all, you know, and I'm praying for you all as well out there. So in, in Jesus' name, you take care and be blessed abundantly. Be abundantly above all. God bless you all.